Hey guys, long time no see. I've been getting messages on my older videos that I should come back to YouTube. And so here I am. I've been away from YouTube, I've been not making many videos because a lot of good things are happening in my life, big changes. Uh, recently got married and uh, this is, I'm in Russia right now. This is the home country of my wife. I've been traveling a little bit, been to Dubai for a while and now I'm here. It's a beautiful country, but it's very cold. But a lot of manifestations of and uh, my definite chief aims, as uh, Nico Napoleon Hill would like to call it in Think and Grow Rich, the definite chief aims of my life have been getting fulfilled in this past year. And now looking back, uh, I see a pattern in my thinking that I would like to share with you guys that have been uh, the, I would say, the main point of my success. I will start by saying that when people come to Law of Assumption and Law of Attraction and these esoteric teachings, they come with a lot of baggage from their past belief system, which is belief in an external God, fate, predestination, and external things basically controlling your life. And why do we come to these teachings? Because we are fed up with our old life, old way of living, and we want to change it. We want to take control of our life. And, but this heavy indoctrination and living with the, with the belief in separation for such a long time, this baggage doesn't go away. And we, when we come to deliberate creation, we still believe in separation. That is, the world is external, things are outside of me, and I need to sort of, that's the problem in law of attraction, that you need to attract things because they're outside of you, and you need to pull them towards you. Uh, which is kind of, a, it gets desperate for a lot of people. But I have been manifesting travel, and I've manifested a wife who is a foreigner, so that's, I think, pretty amazing because we have we've had a long distance relationship and there were problems but they got fixed because i strongly believe that the world is within me and this notion has basically been my biggest success and uh, the world is within me what does that even mean well we have to go back to the book uh the Kabbalion. it's an amazing book which talks about the, the all, the all being, you can say God in the, uh, in the old conception, but God has a lot of uh, dogma attached to it. So people, people don't like it when you say God. So you, uh, the book Kabbalion talks about it in terms of the all. What is the all? The all is everything. <laughs> the name is self-explanatory that the all is everything and everything is the all that is God is in everything and everything is in God and the concept of unity comes from the book that that the all is dreaming everything and we are little uh, cons uh, consciousness individualizations of the all uh, playing our unique role in the dream of God. So, everything is God and everything comes from God. That means there is no separation. You and me are not separate when we go back to our source. When we look at each other from 3D perspective, we are separate. That's the problem. That's the belief in separation from our previous conception, previous life the baggage of decades for some people, many decades. So this belief in separation does not exist when you realize that there is just one mind, there is just one source, there is just one God. And everything come, comes from this God. And this source is within us. It's not like it created us and then left us alone. Nothing can exist outside of the all. That's the basic concept of Kabbalion. 
nothing exists outside of the all. If nothing exists outside of the all, everything is still attached to the source. So you and source are one. I and my father are one, like Jesus said. But my father is greater than I. You are an individualization of the all within the all, but you're still one with the all, like a drop in the ocean. A drop and ocean are one, but a drop is also within the ocean. So you are not separate from the all. Your source, my source, everything is still within the source. So we are playing this part in a dream. Now this does not mean predestination. Dream is just a conceptualization to say that this is all a, a drama that is being played out and we are awake in this drama. We as individualized uh, consciousness of the all are awake in this drama and we can just like when we wake up in a dream, maybe you, uh, I don't know if you had this experience, but when I have woken up in a dream, realizing that I'm dreaming, I can control things in my dream. And this is a waking dream, as Neville Goddard says. This is a waking dream. We are dreaming this life. And what it means to be awake in this life is to know that you are still connected to the source. You are one with everything, and so you are in control of your life. All this to say is that in the past year, I've been saying this to myself. For example, I had issues uh, uh, with my visa to uh, UAE, and uh, I got rejected for the first time. I was like, all right, it's time to apply the law of assumption. I said, the way is within me. UAE is within me. They're not separate from me. So I am giving this visa to myself because everything else is connected to me. So the officer who's going to process my visa, they're not separate beings. This is not to demean others by saying that they don't exist. It's, it is to say that they are connected. And if I am sending a success if I am sending them positivity that this is done, something is done, they will play their part and do so. And voila, my brother found a way. He got me the visa. I did nothing. I just gave him my documents. He got everything done. And it was effortless. And um, after the way, of course, uh, same uh, process with Russia. Uh, I got married to my wife and we, we were seeking a long-term visa. Sorry, <laughs> the road is uh, very snowy, so it's uneven ground. We were seeking a long-term visa. And for that, there, were some, there are some spe special invitations required for Russia. And the document for that invitation was not easy, uh, as we thought, because I wasn't applying the law. And it, was, it seemed very difficult. So I began saying that Russia is not separate from me. Russia is within me. And all that the process required for me to get to Russia is within me. There is no separation. So I'm giving this visa to myself. And lo and behold, uh, the document that we needed was very easy to get. It wasn't, it was just a letter that my wife had to wrote, write for me. It was, it, we thought it would be official from government, but it wasn't. So we got it very easily and it was effortless after that. And same cases with my wife. And everything that I dreamed of for the past year has been coming true. Good income and freedom to travel, everything like that. And it's been because I've been keep on saying that this is a dream in the mind of the all and I am awake in this dream. I am a part of this dream. I am one with the source. There is no separation. Everything is within me in the higher context. So I can have everything I want. All I have to do is give it to myself. You see, all you need to do is give it to yourself by going back to the source. When you go back to separation and belief in separation, 
then everything is impossible. Then it's a human in a big world and t life is tough. And things, magic is gone out of life. Things are hard. But when you go back to the source, God, the all, and you realize that you and the person next to you, standing in front of you, they have the same source. The same soul lives within them, the same energy. And so you, you need to convey your desire, your energy to the source, telling it what you want. And that's it. And believe that it will be achieved and it will be. And so here I am in Russia. It's amazing. It's a beautiful country and it's very cold. So I think I will leave this video uh, here and uh, hopefully I will be making many more videos. So bye-bye.